everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a good day. I hope you had a good day, too. But you know, I was watching a lot of videos, and I saw that there's snow everywhere. For those of you that wished for snow, I hope you got what you wished for. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> it's so cold. It's really cold. And I saw some that were going out to take care of their animals, and they were saying, oh, it's cold out here. And then they go to open the chicken house or the door to the chicken house and it's kind of froze and they have to break it free. That's the way it is with the snow. It is not so easy. Those of you that never have snow are so lucky when it comes to taking care of your animals. It's easier when it's just a little cold like maybe 30, 40 degrees but when it gets down into the teens or in the single digits it's pretty darn cold. And some of you have it in the negatives which is really cold. Now, I also want to tell you, because we always get snow, that you may not know exactly what snow can do to you, or do that is damaging. If you have the heavy snow, you know, the kind that you like to make snowman from, or snowballs that make really good snow, you should s scoop that off of your flat roofs. If you have a flat roof, you definitely want to get it off of there, because it's a heavy weight load. You'll see the trees um, struggling to stay straight and tall and their branches are like reaching more towards the ground and this is way mother nature actually prunes the trees she breaks branches that normally you wouldn't have cut off but she's going to break them off because she figures it's time that they came off anyways if they're weak they if they're weak they'll, they'll be down yep if you have drafty houses like some of you live in motor homes or double wides or single wides if it's drafty, because I don't know what, I don't, like the, well, really the motor homes, probably. No, mobile homes. Mobile homes. Not motor homes, mobile oh, homes. Mobile homes, okay. If you live in a mobile home, it could be drafty, because you don't have, maybe you don't have skirting around the bottom. If you push the snow up against your, your building, it actually stops the drafts. And it might help keep it not as cold inside. It may sound like it's going to be colder with the snow up against, but it actually protects you. Also, if you have water, pipes can freeze. It's terrible how the pipes can freeze, and they can freeze really fast. In fact, hot water will freeze before cold water does. For those of you that were bringing out hot water to your chickens and thinking that it's, it's, they're happy to have the hot water, well, they might be liking the warm water, but that's going to freeze faster. It's better to bring out cold water because if you ever put ice cubes in the refrigerator in the ice cube tray those of you have a lot of doors that have the ice in it and don't have to use the trays I know my granddaughter or not my granddaughter my great one of my great nieces didn't know what an ice cube tray was it was kind of funny because hers just comes out of the refrigerator door well if you're gonna fill one of those ice trays and if you fill it with warm water it would freeze a lot faster than if you put cold water in it so it's the hot water tank hot water pipes will freeze first so what you want to do is you want to open the spigot just a little bit and let it drizzle and you want to do the hot and the cold because one is if you don't have them both open one will freeze and you can open up the cupboard door what i was going to say a lot of people will think hot water can't freeze faster because it's got to cool more the reason hot water actually freezes faster, there is less oxygen in the hot water. The oxygen keeps the cold water from freezing as quickly as what mm -hmm. the hot water does because there is more oxygen in cold water. Yep, so, so if you don't want it to freeze, back to the faucets. <laughs> that, yeah. I know, I was kept going, I'm sorry. Um, Open, open the hot water faucet a little bit and the cold water and let it drizzle just a little. And you can open up the cabinet door, the cupboard door. If it's in your bathroom, you open up those the door that's shielding the pipes. And if it's in your kitchen, open up your kitchen cupboard and let the air from the room, even though it might be cold, because maybe your power went out. I don't know. And if your power went out, it's really cold. It's not fun. I don't mind the power going out in the summer, but I don't like it going out in the winter. If you happen to have a wood stove, then you've got you've got it better. Or if you have a generator, 
that's great too because you can connect things up. You don't want to open your refrigerator or freezer if you don't have any power because the cold will stay inside. If you open it up, your food will, it, the air is different on the outside than on the inside and it will start to thaw your food. It's not good to open the refrigerator or the freezers. Let's see, your cars, you got to watch out for the cars because cold weather actually drains your battery. When you go to start your car, you're going to find that the battery, the car might go and it's really draining their battery. It doesn't want to start. It takes a lot for it to turn over and if you've got diesel, make sure you turn it on to heat before you start it or you have one of those heating blocks on it that you keep it warm so that when you do start up it will start up. See and if you're gonna go anywhere be very careful because the roads if you're not used to driving in the snow and I'm sure you're if you got never get snow your roads are not as clean as they could be or salted or sanded and there could be a lot of slipperiness underneath on, on the snow there could be ice but if you do and you get stranded somewhere be sure you have a lot of blankets with you and I always carry protein bars and if you want you should have water because water is something that you will need because you can live off of you can live without food but you can't live without water so if you have like coolers it may sound funny but if you have like a cooler you could put a bottle of water in there and shut it because it's it's insulated and it should keep the colder it, the air inside should be warmer than the air on the outside and hopefully it doesn't freeze very fast but if it does freeze you'll have to put it into your jacket and, and try to keep it warm on your core if you your get pets stuck, huh if you get stuck someplace if you run yeah, out oh, yeah, and you get you, stuck you don't you don't leave your car stay in your car and run your engine like five minutes to get some heat in the car and then turn it off and make sure your exhaust pipe is not covered with snow also because the fumes would go back into the car and it could kill you. If you have pets they don't like the cold they're not used to it and so they may have to be brought in. If they ha if you have a dog that is typically outside in the doghouse might not be good for the dog to be out in the doghouse because they're not used to this cold weather. They haven't built up that real heavy coat that a lot of dogs in our area have, that real heavy coat that is their winter coat. And if you do get stuck, you know what I used to carry in my car? Because sometimes, well, I drove a standard, so it's, I think, a little easier to rock your, rock your car with a standard than it is with an automatic. You can rock it. But I used to carry a bag of sand in the trunk or... I, and I also, well, actually, and, because I needed the extra weight. I had a little car. And I used to carry those little carpets that are remnant carpets that they would have at the carpet store. They're like, I don't know, maybe 24 inches by 24 inches, something like that. I used to carry those, and if I was spinning on ice and couldn't, you say, one, car, one wheel is spinning, and you need to get some friction, you just put one of those underneath, and you can get yourself out or some of the sand sometimes will help and you just leave it there don't don't bother picking it back up because you'll get stuck again also your tires in your car on the car will look flatter when it's cold because the air shrinks it as to when it's hot your car's tires so your lights might go on for your tires I don't know whether it will or not it'll say your low pressure you can fill it some we have winter tires and all weather tires and you I don't know if you have that on your cars or if you have just summer tires we used to years ago we used to switch our tires we used to go from summer tires to winter tires because the tread is different and it could handle the snow a lot better well I guess that's enough on the snow if you have any questions that you want to know something about snow that I maybe didn't cover you can put it in the comments and I will get back to you and I hope you're enjoying and staying warm, enjoying this weather. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.